If you are a trained professional machinist, a DRO on a mill is not required. But if you're a hobby machinist, a DRO on a mill is as close to being required as you can get without actually being required. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. Let me start by saying this is not an ad for the Precision Matthews DRO. This is a review and comparison between a less expensive DRO and the DRO option that I purchased with my Precision Matthews mill. I recently purchased a PM728. I had to save up for quite a while to buy this machine, and as I was going through looking at features and various things that I could get for the machine, the choice came up. Do I get the $900 DRO installed by Precision Matthews, or do I go on to eBay or Amazon and order a DRO for right around $300? Before purchasing this mill, I had a DIY mill that I had made using the mill head off of my mill lathe combo and a whole bunch of other parts to make it adjustable column. On that mill, I had installed this three axis DRO. I picked this up on eBay. It was a la carte, so I was able to pick the display I wanted. I was able to pick the scale lengths that I wanted. And like I said, it was about 300 bucks. This unit installed by Precision Matthews on my machine was $900. And that's a pretty significant increase in price, especially since I already had this. Now, the majority of the cost for my three axis DRO was scales. And I was likely gonna have to replace all three of those scales anyway, because this new mill has quite a bit of Z axis travel. It has way more X axis travel. And I'm pretty sure the Y axis would have been close, but again, I would have liked it to be correct. So I would have had to have ordered all new scales anyway. Ultimately, I decided to go ahead and have Precision Matthews install their DRO on my machine. I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't really relish the thought of drilling and tapping holes into my brand new mill. Also, I knew that there was going to be a lot of work resetting my shop and getting it properly put together for this particular mill. Weighing time, weighing cost, I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and spend the extra money with the Precision Matthews DRO. So the question is, was it worth it? I'll give you some information and I'll let you decide. First and foremost, I've had this on the mill. Functionally, they do the same things. We've got a place to drill circle bolt patterns. We've got readout. We can do half the distance. You know, all the typical things that you can do with any DRO, both of these are capable of doing. So from that aspect, it's a wash. Second, the scales that came with my mill are magnetic scales. The scales that I purchased for this unit on eBay are optic scales. Now, you can do a ton of research. You can get paralysis by analysis comparing optical and magnetic scales. They both have pluses and minuses. The biggest one being cost. Magnetic scales are more expensive than optical scales. So that's part of why the DRO from Precision Matthews costs more because it costs them more for the components. Magnetic scales have the advantage of being a little bit smaller and they are less sensitive to things like flood coolant. So I'm pretty sure that's probably why Precision Matthews went with the magnetic scales because they wanted to minimize the amount of bed travel reduction, especially on the Y axis. And this mill is set up so that it could be plumbed for flood coolant. So that to me makes sense why they went with the magnetic scales as opposed to the less expensive optical scales. Now optical scales have their advantages too. Like I said, they are far less expensive. They are less sensitive to any kind of variance in the install. So if you're installing 
a DRO kit yourself. If you install a magnetic scale, everything's got to be perfect. Everything's got to be traveling parallel. It's got to be the same distance between the reader and the magnetic strip the entire length of the bed. With an optical scale, you have a little more flexibility. You have a little more room to have the install not be perfect and still have the readout be accurate. Also, metal chips can interfere with the magnetic scale DRO. Now, as long as you have proper scale covers, that's not a big deal. Actually, that right there is one complaint I have about this Precision Matthews DRO. If you look at the scale cover on the x-axis, there's about a sixteenth of an inch gap there. Now, it's not a gap that's going to allow chips and stuff to get into the magnetic scale, but it is definitely going to allow chips to get between the cover and the bed. And I was a little disappointed when I saw that. The good news is it was an easy fix. I grabbed a file and I slotted the holes in the cover. I reinstalled the cover. Now there's no gap there. So the biggest difference that I have between the Precision Matthews DRO and this eBay DRO is quality of materials. Now we already talked about the fact that the scales on the Precision Matthews DRO are more expensive. But the materials that are used for everything else, the body on this display is aluminum. The body on this display is plastic. The bracketry used to attach the DRO to the Precision Matthews mill is heavy duty steel bracketry. That same bracketry is purpose built. It is the exact right shape. It is the exact right bend. It is perfectly designed to work with this Precision Matthews machine. Even the display mounting arm is significantly better quality for this unit right here. This one is just a tube with a couple of holes put in it. This is a nice cast purpose built piece. The brackets that come with the cheap kit are cheap brackets. They're basically pieces of L-shaped aluminum with a bunch of holes in them. And it is incumbent on the installer to figure out how to install it. When I installed this on my mill, I had to come up with all kinds of brackets. I had to do lots of machining to get everything to fit just the way I wanted. When I installed this same type of DRO on my lathe, again, had to come up with way more bracketry than what was provided with the kit. I gotta say that because of that, the installation of this type of DRO on both of my machines took quite a bit of time. Now, if you're into machining, if you have a mill, if you have a lathe, you are probably perfectly capable of fabricating the brackets required to install a one-size-fits-none DRO like this one right here. But do you have the time? Time was the number one factor of why I went with this unit. And in retrospect, that was a good move. I probably had a full day into installing a DRO like this on the lathe. I probably had a full day into installing a DRO like this on the mill. So there is one thing that I like about the inexpensive DRO way better than the one that came on my milling machine. And that's this plastic cover. I mean, it's not fitting very well. We're looking, you know, why is it not fitting very well? Well, if we turn it around, it's split part way up and then it's trying to get past all these cables. That is so completely ridiculous. The inexpensive DRO came with holes cut so that you plug your cables in through the plastic and that actually helps hold it in place. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but you know, spend the extra 50 cents, cut the holes and let's have a decent cover because overall, Every part of this DRO is significantly higher quality. That is, except this cheap plastic cover. Should be a relatively easy fix. I am going to take the cables off. I'm going to use a Sharpie and mark where the holes need to be, and then I'm going to cut the holes in myself. Well, that's much better, and it wasn't hard to do, which again begs the question, why wasn't that done from the factory? Overall, 
I'm very impressed with the quality of this DRO. The fact that it cost me three times as much, but saved me a bunch of time, and is purpose fit for my machine, as far as I'm concerned, it was money well spent. If you have any questions about either of these DROs, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also provide a link for a similar DRO to this unit right here down below. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.